fire extinguisher stop this fire? Let's do an experiment to see what it's made up of. Hello friends, I am Albert Einstein and welcome to my lab where you and I will be exploring science beyond your books, around us in things that surround us. So, let's get started. Today's experiment is homemade fire extinguisher. For this experiment, we need five things. Number one, half a cup of vinegar. Number two, some baking soda. Three, a matchbox. Four, huh, a plastic bottle that has a hole on top. Finally, three candles. Let's go. We begin by lighting the three candles. Ooh. The first candle, the second candle, and the third candle. And now blow out the matchstick in style. Time to pour some vinegar into the bottle. Let's add some baking soda into the bottle. We will add 2 teaspoons of the baking soda. Now quickly close the cap and cover the hole from top. Fire extinguisher ready. And now fire away. Fire extinguished. Mission accomplished. One thing is clear that this fire extinguisher and this bottle both can stop a fire. But what's inside them that stops a fire? Yes, you got it. It's carbon dioxide. When we added baking soda and vinegar into the bottle, it caused a chemical change which produced a new substance called carbon dioxide. But how does carbon dioxide stop a fire? To answer this question, let's look at a triangle. Not just any triangle, but the fire triangle. A fire triangle shows us the three things that a fire needs to start. Fuel, heat and an oxidizer. Number one, fuel. A fuel can be any substance that can catch fire. It can be solid like wood or paper or liquid like oil and petrol. Number two, heat. We need a source of heat. In case of our candle, it was the lit matchstick. And finally, an oxidizer. Now you must be thinking, What's an oxidizer? An oxidizer is like that person who jumps into a fight between two people and adds fuel to the fire quite literally. In case of our candle, the oxygen in the air was the oxidizer. So friends, now you know that a fire needs all three to burn. So to stop it, all you have to do is attack any one of these three. In case of our candle, we block the oxygen supply. And to do this, we call our friend carbon dioxide. So, by attacking the supply of oxygen, which is an oxidizer, carbon dioxide stops the fire. No wonder! So many fire extinguishers are made up of carbon dioxide. While both carbon dioxide and water are great at stopping fire, we must use and choose them carefully based on the type of fire, about which you can read more in the description box below. But hold on, before you go, I have a trick question. How do you think water breaks the fire triangle? Go on, write your answers in the comment box below. And before you go, don't forget to share this video. We must stay safe together. Toodles!